There are big news about Vienna Ensemble Pro 7 because now it supports VST3. I couldn't believe this. Here is the new version. Now let's create a new MT instance. Right click, insert plugin, and you can see native instruments, Contact 7 VST3. Okay, let's try it. And now we can see it opens the player the Contact 7 player. I don't have the full version. I've got the full version of Contact 5 and Contact 6, but not Contact 7. So yeah, this one works. So why is it so important? Perhaps you say, well, uh, I don't need uh, VST3. I work with VST2. Yeah, uh, VST2 is a very old format. And a lot of years ago, there's been VST3. And a few companies are just working in VST2. And uh, in two years, VST2 won't be supported by Steinberg. So some companies converted and you could load in some plugins as uh, VST2 and VST3. And Contact 7 by Native Instruments is just available as VST3. So it's very important that you got VST3 support at Vienna Ensemble Pro. So these are the good news. Now we come to the bad news because you need a new dongle. At the old days, VSL used its own dongle. You know, you've got the e-licenser from Steinberg and Steinberg is now switching to software licensing. Then we've got the dongle by VSL and now VSL is switching to iLog. Here we have a look at the price. Pays iLog 3 USB-A, 49 euro. And we've got the USB-C version, 65 euro. You can use the um, iLog Cloud. So your computer has to be online and I prefer to have the hardware dongle. Okay, and it goes on because in the old days, I just could open my Vienna Ensemble Pro and then check updates and it said, well, okay, here's a new update. And when this didn't work and it didn't work here, I could go online and download the newest version here. And you can see it says it's uh, from 2021. So not the newest version. What can you do? Well, there are a lot of videos in English and we've got another site at Vienna Ensemble. Uh, we've got uh, at Resal. Here we've got a FAQ transition to iLog. Here's a great video. So if you don't have an iLog account, create a free iLog account. Then log in to your VSL account and register your iLog user ID with us. That's very easy too. And then you can see you are online and then there is this green deposit button and this one transfers all your licenses from VSL to your iLog and sometimes you've got to move them from your iLog account to your hardware iLog. So when you've done this, you've got to download the Vienna Assistant and now I go to uh, this assistant, it looks like, where is it? Where is my, uh, here, here it is. This is the assistant. And here that assistant, you can see all the stuff you've bought and you got to reinstall it. And this are not just all the plugins the Synchron Player, Vienna Instruments, Vienna Instruments Pro, and so on. These are also the libraries. So let's have a look here. You can see these are my libraries. And here you can see Epic Orchestra. This has been 
the old one and here's epic or uh, epic orchestra one dialogue and epic orchestra two and you can see the dimension brass the old version from 2019 and here is dimension brass iLog. so you've got to download all of your libraries so and what's very interesting right click here and we can see nearly 13 gigabyte is the old version uh, the new version 20 or 21 gigabyte so i don't know why it's it's nearly twice so now i can delete epic orchestra i don't need it anymore i guess i can delete the old dimension brass we had this free fujara flute and yeah i uh, um here um i deleted the old version too so and the same with the special edition and so on so what i don't know whether when you load in the old projects whether they use the news player and all the libraries or whether you got to recreate all the stuff on your own so this is just fresh installed by me perhaps you've got your own um, experiences so just write a comment how much um, do you like it and there is uh, another thing it's very important to go to the options and the preferences then plugins because i had installed the vst settings for vst2 but not the vst settings for vst3 so i've been very surprised that vsl uh Vienna ensemble pro couldn't find any vst3 plugins so here you've got to create the right folder for vst these are the big and important news about vienna ensemble pro 7 now it supports vst3 but the update is a little bit complicated how much do you like it and at the video at the left top you see my playlist about vienna ensemble pro see you the next time bye